shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much of love drives a man insane. You broke my will, but what a thrill. Goodness gracious, great ball of fire. I let you love what I thought it was funny. You came along and you knew me, honey. I've changed my mind. This world is fine. Goodness gracious, great ball of fire. Kiss the baby. Mmm, feels good. Hold oh, me, baby. Well, I want to love you like I love the shoe. Oh, you're fine, so kind. I should tell this world that you're mine, 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 mine. That you find nails and I twitch on my thumb. I'm real on earth, but it's so real as fun. Come on, baby. It drives me crazy. It's just a it's just great right. ball of fire. I'm not king. 
much happened to me I can't believe it myself Suddenly I'm up on top of the world It should have been somebody else Believe it or not I'm walking on air I never thought I could feel so free Flying away on a wing and a prayer Who could it be? Believe it or not
broken my bows and my curtain calls. You brought me fame and fortune and everything that goes with it. I thank you all, but it's been no better roses. B, Ryan Christo Valbin wins it 12 to 6 over Corey Crangle of Nebraska City. In Class C, Mike Tamanzine, the Valley of the State Champion, winning by pin in the first period over Chris Perry of Kimball. And in Class D, Dart Tuzinski of East Butler wins it 5 to 2 over Casey Anderson of Grayley. That will set up the championship matches at 215 pounds. In Class A, Donald Seaman, unbeaten senior from Bellevue East, faces Caleb Sutherland, 21 and 5 junior from Omaha Northwest. In class B, Brad Kerr, a 28 and 6 senior from Lexington, faces Chad Smith of York, who's an unbeaten senior. In class C, Buck Rasmussen, 32 and 3 junior from Takema Herman, faces Andy Christensen, the two time defending state champion, unbeaten from Fort Calhoun. And in class D, Eric Manstead, 30 and 4 senior from Clarks, faces Perry Mostak, 29 and 3, uh, 29 and 3 senior from Newman Grove. And immediately we have to talk about Andy Christensen, who's the unbeaten senior from Fort Calhoun, trying to be the second three-time champion here today. Brad Veering being the first, but to Christensen winning the state title last year, and also as a sophomore, he was fifth as a freshman. There, there was talk a little earlier this week uh, in the media about uh, Andy always being in the, sh the shadow of his older brother, Monty, who's now a, a redshirt freshman down here at the University uh, of Nebraska wrestling program. This is his one opportunity to step out of that shadow and step in front of Monty because Monty only won it twice, and Andy can win it three times. And, you know, being uh, in the heavier weight class, it's even a little tougher, I think, when you get in that 200. To win one as a sophomore is pretty tough. And as I said, he was fifth as a freshman. That's but, right. Uh, normally the upper weight classes normally have a lot more uh, upperclassmen. And he came in here as a sophomore and a junior, winning it both times and totally dominating this year. I, I, I've seen him several times, and I've, I've yet to see him get himself in too much trouble in any of his matches. Christensen in the purple singlet and uh, Buck Rasmussen of Takema Herman. I think I haven't switched. Let's, uh, let's, i got to double-check that here. That's Buck Rasmussen that became a Herman in the purple singlet and Andy Christensen of Fort Calhoun with the orange and black singlet. singlet. And I tell you, uh, Rasmussen uh, is a, can be a tough wrestler, too, a junior from became a Herman. Had two pins and then four I won in the semifinals. So uh, he's somebody going to have to watch. And uh, now we have a near-pin situation in Class A. That's Caleb Sutherland of Northwest over Donald Seaman. Donald Seaman, the returning champ from the heavyweight division last year, cut down to 215 pounds, and Caleb Sutherland might pull the upset here. Seaman unbeaten, but right now Sutherland, as you mentioned, coming in at 21 and 5, a junior really has him in trouble. He's starting to get Seaman ever to get out and possibly turn it around and get the reversal for himself, but he's going to trail 5 to 2 now after the big move by Caleb Sutherland, the junior from Omaha Northwest. He's the first Northwest finalist since 1989. They're, they're starting to turn that program back around as well. In Class B, we're tied at 2-2 between Brad Kerr of Lexington and Chad Smith of York. Smith unbeaten. Kerr coming into 28-6. That's a number one against number two matchup. In Class D, Perry Mostek of Newman Grove and Eric Manstead of Clarks. No score in that match. Andy Christensen got his takedown and able to ride out Rasmussen. He'll take a two to nothing lead into the second period. He's only been into the second period twice, or excuse me, once in this tournament. He had two first period pins and one second period pin. 
These are two guys, uh, again, that, that, that like to pin, so you could see some throws and that type of thing. Meanwhile, no score yet in D. In B, now it's 3-2, to two, Chad Smith of York. The unbeaten wrestler leading Brad Kerr of Lexington by one. It looks like the score is actually 6-2 to two in favor of Caleb Sutherland of, of Northwest. In Class B, Chad Smith was the state runner-up a year ago. He placed sixth as a sophomore. Brad Kerr was the third-place finisher last year. And like, indeed, Perry Mostek of Newman Grove was the state runner-up last year at 215 pounds. Like we said, uh, in Class A, Donald Seaman was the state champ last year at heavyweight before moving down to the 215-pound class. And Caleb Sutherland last year got sixth at 185, and now he has moved up to the 250-pound class. You think it, it would be somewhat of an advantage coming down in weight, but, you know, I, I guess it just kind of depends. Oh, nice set. Uh, the one thing about Donald Seaman, he's not a real tall wrestler, so the 215 class probably suits him a little better in heavyweight events. Once in a while in the heavyweight. Oh, and Seaman just got a takedown, and now has Sutherland in a near fall situation. So turnabout is fair play, and Seaman really trying to crank it on tight. A he's minute got seven a lot to go. Of time. Boy, I tell you, that was an outstanding move by Donald Seaman. As he's really cranking on tight, Caleb Sutherland right now. Now in class. See, it's uh, Christensen has Buck Rasmussen of Takema Herman in some trouble. As Christensen really trying to crank it tight there with a lot of time left. Caleb Sutherland able to, able to get off of his back in Class A. That's a three-point near fall. And now Christensen for... really appears to have Rasmussen in all kinds of trouble in Class C. With 29 seconds to go in the period, and now it looks like Rasmussen will be able to, well... Let's, uh, we'll just wait. It's tied up 7-7 seven, seven in Class A, but Seaman, there's the pin in, in Class C for Andy Christensen. With 21 seconds remaining in the second period, he wins his third straight title. Outstanding four-time medalist Andy Christensen from Fort Calhoun. And we certainly give him a big salute, uh, making his mark in history here at the state wrestling tournament. What a job by Andy Christensen. And boy, the fans are here from Fort Calhoun in big numbers, and they're loving it as well they should. What a job by Andy Christensen. He becomes the second three-time state champion at this tournament. Meanwhile, let's take a look in Class D. No score yet between Eric Manstead of Clark and Perry Mostek of Newman Grove. Jets, Jets, or Andy Christensen. Okay, now in Class A, the uh, winner was Donald Seaman. 14-9 winner over Caleb Sutherland in the Omaha Northwest. In Class B, it was Chad Smith. An 8-5 winner over Brad Chair. Smith goes undefeated. In Class C, Andy Christensen, three-time state champion, wins by pin over Buck Rasmussen. And in Class D, it was Perry Mostek. A 5-3 winner over Eric Manstead of Clarks. Now let's, now let's set up the championships. In 279 pound medal winners, 6, Jason Bargan of Superior. Fifth, Jason Benson of Cambridge. Fifth, Nick Schuler of Fort Calhoun. Third, Kevin Kramer of Wisner Pilger. Second, Chris Perry of Kimball. And the 1996 189 pound Class C Nebraska State Champion, Mike Kamazin of Valley. Congratulations, 189 pound Class C medal winners. Ladies and gentlemen, the class. The Class C 215 pound medal winners, six, Nathan Wilhelm of Centura, fifth, Chris Evans of Gordon, fourth, Roy Garcia of Hemingford, third, Andy Osborne of Atkinson West Holt, second, Buck Rasmussen of Takama Herman, and the 1996 215 pound Class C Nebraska State Champion, Andy Christensen of Fort Calhoun. Congratulations, 215 pound Class C champions. And now the place winners in Class D for 1996 at 215. In sixth place, Jeff Vapp from Red Cloud, Nebraska. Fifth place finisher, John Svoboda from Wymore Southern High School. In fourth place, North. In Class B, four-time state champions, Omaha Grove's first time ever, followed by Alp.